Hi there, I'm Chelsea. I'm the technical illustrator here at Seamwork. I illustrate and write the instructions. If you're not familiar with Seamwork, we're a community of sewists that are all about designing and sewing our own me-made wardrobes. Check us out at seamwork.com. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the burrito method, which uses a sleeveless bodice and an all-in-one facing or lining. This gives you a fully clean finished neckline and armholes and can be used in woven or knit fabrics. Here's our Lucy jumpsuit that features the burrito method. You can see the clean finish on the armholes and on the neckline. Now let's get started. First, sew the shoulders together of both your main fabric and lining pieces. Make sure to press the seam allowances open. Now we'll match the main fabric and lining fabric together at the neckline with the right sides together. Make sure your shoulder seams are aligned. Now we'll stitch around the neckline with a straight stitch. Trim and grade your seam allowances of the neckline. Don't forget to clip the curved areas of the neckline. If you have a V-neck, make sure to snip into the center point. Now is the time to understitch the neckline. Stitch the seam allowances of the main fabric bodice to the lining bodice about 1 8 inch away from the stitching line. And then we'll turn the whole bodice right side out and press in place. Now it's time to get to the burrito method. Lay your bodice flat with the main fabric facing upwards. Starting at one armhole, roll the entire bodice, main fabric and lining towards the other armhole. Flip the lining under the rolled bodice to meet the main fabric bodice. Align the lining and main fabric armholes with right sides together. The rest of the main fabric and lining bodice will be sandwiched between all of this. Now it's time to stitch the armhole. Trim and grade the seam allowances of the armhole and make sure to clip around the armhole. Pull the bodice through the shoulder area to pull it right side out. This is the time to understitch the armhole if you want. Once your armholes are sewn and the bodice unit is right side out, give your armholes a press. And finally, we'll sew the side seams. With right sides together, pin the side seam of the lining and the main fabric bodice. and stitch in one go from the lining through to the main fabric bodice. Make sure to press your seam allowances open and repeat for the other side. And now we have our full line sleeveless bodice. Don't forget to check out Seamwork Magazine, where we have plenty of tutorials to help you on your sewing journey. We also have a resource center where we go into detail on a variety of sewing techniques. Have a sewing technique you'd like us to help you with? Comment down below and let us know. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos. Thanks, happy sewing.